lot, I think. Definitely learned how to take care of bees and yep. how they're important. How to, like, uh, make our honey and, like, <laughs> what was the most surprising thing you learned? <laughs> I think everything was pretty surprising at first because we were just totally new to this whole process of taking care of the bees. And Brian, your hand was kind of, oh. It was kind of surprising to learn how they're, the bees are so crucial to everything, that, like all the crops and stuff. Like, I mean, we knew they were important, but we didn't know they were that important, so it was kind of interesting. Now again, you smoke them to calm them down, basically? The bees, when they sense the smoke, they think it's a, a forest fire and they kind of go back into the hive. They go farther down and they try to eat as much honey as they can. And then they get calm because they eat so much honey. So we just get, do it to calm them down, to make sure they're not too aggravated when we open up and start poking and prodding. Uh, right now, I'm and take out the frames which has the honeycombs in it. Mm -hmm. And they're stuck in with beeswax. <laughs> so. We haven't opened this up in a while. It's been a couple months since it's been so cold that now it's finally warm. Um, <laughs> it's a good amount of work. Yeah. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's a, it's a lot of work. About how many hours a week do you do this? Um, we could, we probably do this kind of thing maybe <clears throat> once a week, uh -huh. at most twice a week. You don't really want to bother them too much, but you know, you spend an hour a week, and that's probably good enough. And then, do you get honey and beeswax and stuff? And what do you do with it if you do? Yeah, I mean, we got uh, 30 pounds of honey last year, and that was just when these guys were just starting out, so we sold it. It was very good. Everybody liked it. It tasted great. <laughs> uh, what about uh, candles and things? Do you... Yeah, we made uh, some candles. We sold uh, some of them at our school. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Wear that thing. It's not bad. It's not that bad. It, it's uncomfortable in the hot weather. Horrible in the, when it's 90 degrees, but right now it's kind of nice. Have you guys ever been stung? I'm the only one who got stung in the project. Uh, Mrs. Blossy got stung once, but um, that was, I think, early on when we first got the hive and they first came. And um, but I got stung because my dad, there was a bee in my pants, and my dad came over and shook my pants to get it out as I was yelling, no, no, no. So. That was why I got stung. Give me your names while you're doing this. Um, I'm Mal Paharika. I'm Cecilia Schudel. I'm Brian DeBlasi. And where are you from? We're all from Allendale. Yep. And that's Northern Highlands High School? Yep. yep. And this is part of Teens for Planet Earth. 